The great thing about our solution is that it is simple. You can look at other people's development systems. For example, if you want to do Android and have spinners and animated this is and that, it's all very pretty, but it is very complicated. It'll take a, quite a bit to learn, and it's in fact not something an embedded engineer really can, has a, a good grasp on because it's more web-oriented tools. Our system is, is very easy to use, and the great thing about it is uh, when you're developing uh, a system, an embedded piece of, a piece of equipment, you want to take an incremental approach. You really want to start off by making something very simple work from end to end. I have a screen, there's a button on it. I push the button, my embedded device does something. I, the embedded device has an input, a sensor change, I see the change on my screen. No, having that, even though it sounds very simple, having that line work reliably where you understand all the components along and then can build up from there is the right way to do development. Premature optimization has killed many an embedded product. There's uh, making a gorgeous front end that then doesn't actually work to the end or isn't reliable or changes over time or uh, acts like a computer. It's, sometimes it's fast, sometimes it's slow. That's not, that's not good. You want to start with something you know and then build up. And that's what our environment and our system allows you to do.